Okay guys, so it's that time of the month again. We have the White Wolf magazine. And this is issue 474. And this is the subscriber copy, so it has a really nice cover there. And we've got some corn and some savage orcs or orcs. Looks really cool. We also have some freebies. So there's a couple of posters. And I'll take a picture of these and whack them on the screen. I am sure it's blood and teeth. And we also have a double sided poster for Total War Warhammer 3. So one side it's got like a dragon and Lord Change. And then we've got a blood faster. And some Kislev dudes on the other side. Very cool. We also have some cards for the updated Skull Altar and the updated Herdstone, which was in the last White Dwarf, um, for Beast of Chaos and Blaze of Corn. Now, of course, we'll see some more Blaze of Corn in here, as the cover may suggest. There's also a lot of other cards inside, hence the title, Cards for the Card God. So, yeah, we'll see some for... Um, Kill Team and for Warcry. And we have Contents, uh, Contact, some beautiful miniatures as always. I'm sure I've seen that Flesh Terror Captain online. Possibly, I'm sure I have. It's beautiful, beautiful. The weekend War. So, a little bit there, but guys, 10 year old, and um, there's that trophy, um, I haven't read, read it, but I'm sure it's an amazing story. The model of the month is the Skink Star Priest. We've got some Untamed Beasts as well, a Sentinel, that's really amazing, Iron Jaw Mega Boss, it's incredible, brilliant conversion that is. Um, some absolutely gorgeous Harlequins. Uh, the Shadow Seer and Death Jester can now be used in Kill Team, thanks to the rules that we'll see later on. Um, I don't think they had rules before in there, um, I might be wrong. Um, a lot of words pronounced phonetically, we've seen this before, and now there's even more words added. Um, some Lumineth, Stormcast, Oryx. And now we go to the 40k section. So, Loyalty Part 1 is all part of Flashpoint Nackmund. Now there's lots of nice um, miniature photos coming up. So there's a lovely little section here about the Astromill Tarn. Got some colours that you can use for urban schemes or some jungle schemes, which is really useful. And then we've got loads of different schemes laid out here. Really nice to see. Some classics such, such as the Armageddon Orc Hunters. We've got Ventrillion Nobles, Mordian Iron Guard, uh, Miasman Red Cows look pretty cool. Of course, Deathcore, Tanif, Kajan, Kilians, and some other schemes, Chemdogs, Indigan uh, Pre Prefects. So, really cool. Some Sentinels, some. Talon Desert Raiders. So, yeah, really, really awesome. Some more Indigan um, Prefix. He's really cool, with a little Stormcast head. Just a nice big Deathcore Bane Blade. So, just really, really nice seeing different schemes, different styles. Of a guard, and there's just absolute loads. So, we've got our first set of cards here as well. These are some kill team ones, and then we've got some Borgrims and some Ogrins as well. Um, they're very cool. The Voistrian or Voistrian Borgrims are just awesome. So, Operation Briefing, Briefing, sorry. So this is all about the critical operations. 
in Kill Team. And then we have for rules, or expanded rules for Harlequins. So we've got name tables, base operations, squad quirks, backgrounds. And then, yeah. So I can't remember what they had in the um, compendium, but um, the Death Jester and the Shadows here are in there. Uh, they're in here. I can't remember if they were in there at all. Um, it doesn't really matter, but they can take them now, so regardless. And then we've got ploys, abilities, and then we've got some stats as well. You've got your lead player, who's essentially your leader. Um, it would have been nice if they had a few more of their miniatures included, but there you go. Got some equipment as well, and some rare equipment and battle honours. Strategic, strategic assets, I can't talk today, I do apologise. Requisitions, spec ops, and then some paint splatter as well. That's a really different scheme, which is quite cool. A little bit on how to paint some checks. And a little more sort of classic scheme we're used to seeing there. So Echoes from the Warp, talking about the Rule of Seven. So, yeah, um, interesting to see what that is. Obviously, I'm not going to sit here and read it all to you guys now. Um, we have an army uh, gallery, some more cards as well for Kill Team. They do get um, in the way, really annoying. Um, so it's a shame they're right sl sort of slapped in the middle of this big army photo, which really sucks, because it is a beautiful, beautiful orc army. Um, the turquoise there is very similar to the colour scheme that I use for my very small orc army. Um, it's weird that that one's that colour, but the rest of them have just gone with the more normal sort of navy blue. Paint brushes action. So yeah, we've got a gallery of the McFarlane toy, or McFarlane toys, um, not just Space Marines, there's going to be some others in there as well as you can see. Um, a lot of names might be familiar to you guys here, and you might have seen some of these before. Um, but they are all just spectacular. So good. Um, my favourite, however, has to be the Rainbow Warrior. It's just incredible. Rainbow Warriors deserve more love. That's sure. So, the new characters for the Deepkin... And the Fire Slayers have now got some cards for Warcry as well, which is really awesome. We'll see a little bit more about them later on. We've got Realmscapes, the Realm of Metal. So, lots of um, fluff and stuff for that. Then we have Town Celestial for the Blades of Corn. So again, more fiction, fluff, whatever you want to call it these days. And um, we have the update, battle traits, squad updates. And um, the battle traits are quite nice. They can ignore spells or ender spells on a six. Really nice, got skull, skull altar rules there as well. Open play and matched play. Path to glory, so all the things that we normally get with these updates as well. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, little Small campaign rules to go alongside it as well. Got a battle plan, Zinch versus Corn, which is quite nice. And then looking into the in rules of engagement. In, of, oh my god, rules of engagement. I apologise. Uh, the looking at the new tides of death rules. And then Warcry. We've got the two characters again, as we saw earlier. Artifact of Power, Command Traits, their abilities. And some more battle plans and such as well. Glory points for Warhammer Underworld. And it's all about summoning up Mystic Hexes. It's quite cool. So, yeah, sort of different sort of lethal and cover hexes that can be sort of summoned. 
Um, some new rules for Aeronautica Imperialis. Um, unique scenarios that that um, pit um, Necrons versus the Eldar or Eldari. Really cool. Um, really like the Necron ships actually. They're quite sweet. They're taking the Hobbits to Isengard. <laughs> so, yeah, um, it's a little, it's a little um, scenario. It's been adapted for solo play. So, if you ever want to try that on your own, if you're a, a middle earth player, the ambush at Amon Hen, quite interesting. So, it's all rules for that. Uh, third part of Heirs of Reason by Callan Davis. Pretty much takes us all the way to inside the studio where some more hobby bingo is going on. Matt Hudson is actually smashing it with all them boxes marked off. I think I've done about five on mine so far. I will do some updates maybe on the channel or just on shorts or something at some point to show you guys where I am with mine. But yeah, I'm determined to fill my hobby bingo card this year with all stuff from my pile of shame. So... Yeah, that would be nice. Um, next issue, Caradron Overlords update. Um, which is good, but I think whenever they get updates in White Dwarf, you think they're not going to get a new battle tome anytime soon, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, that was White Dwarf 474. Um, not too bad. I really like the Cadian stuff in there. Um, or Imperial Guard stuff, not just Cadians. I'm um, seeing all the other little regiments and stuff. That's quite cool. Um, but yeah. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, the Harlequins, I think, will be quite a good faction in Kill Team as well. So, yeah, I'll be quite tempted to make some myself one day. So, yeah, um, that was the White Dwarf. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed it. Yeah, these videos always come around so quick. I know February is a short month, so it is just a few short weeks between them. But, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And um, if you have, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to keep up to date, with everything we put on the channel, I mean, feel free to subscribe. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all again in the next video.